Hi, everybody. This is Alistair and Michelle, uh, and uh, we are just going to explore how it is that we would work with you um, if you were to invite us in to help you um, in your organization. Uh, and we're going, to, we're going to just discuss the basic principles of, of our approach. Um, and if, it's, if you like what you hear and it's something that feels right, sits comfortably with you, then what we suggest is that you get in touch and that we start by running a pilot. Let's, let's, not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just see if it feels comfortable us actually working together. So Michelle, do you want to start off with what our basic approach is? So a thing that we have discussed a lot, me and Alistair, is what would you do different or that we have already done in different companies if you really want to, to enable change, enable the right change, something that we really like and we know that works. And we came with three points. And I think that is the whole essence of our approach. Let's start with the first thing. We both believe that Agile, nor, nor Lean, nor whatever other methodology should be recipes. And in today's world, everyone comes with a recipe and um, tries to follow the recipe step by step, just then seeing that this recipe do, do not work. So the first element of our way of doing things is no recipe, just agile essence, methodology essence, not coming in with that is what we have to do and that is what will work. The first element of every change is listening. What are the opportunities within the company? What can we do together and what will be the first steps that we have to do together? And then together adjust the tools to the local, the tools and the solutions to the local opportunities. And that is number one element of the, of, of the approach. Second, second element of our approach is, even for a diet, if we start on a diet and you don't see that you're losing weight, you get frustrated. So delivering value as early as possible during the first iteration is key. Whatever value, because value should not have to be uh, only delivering a piece of software of a successful marketing campaign or a sales campaign or whatever element you consider as value, is defining what is the value. Value could be the change in the smooth of operations of a certain department. But that needs to happen as soon as possible and as fast as possible. So first iteration. What is the value that we want to deliver and we deliver it together. And that is really the shock therapy on of guys, we have to change these elements together to deliver the, this value. And the third element, last but not, not least, no company can live and flourish and thrive without having people, internal people, people that are working for years and years in the company mastering the subtle art of change and delivering value. So building capabilities is the third element of our, our uh, way of working is let's build capabilities together. Let's have people as fast as possible that can take over the change, the change process and the delivering value process as early as possible. And these are the people that will thrive in the company and will let the company thrive for many years in the future. We all of this need a couple of preconditions, something that we need to have as a base to do that. Alistair, do we want to go on the preconditions, what we need? Absolutely. So I think that there are there are basically three three things. You mentioned two. There's there's three things that we need to agree up front. And I think that hopefully there are simple things that are not not onerous. Um, the first one is transparency. So full transparency both ways. You need to be able to see what we do and how we do it. Because if your organization is going to learn how to continue adding value once we have finished with you, once we have left, then you, we need full transparency. You need to understand all of that. And, and that goes both ways. 
The second precondition is full access. One of the th reasons Agile often fails is because there is an absent product owner or there is an absent um, executive, there is an absent sponsor, Some, and you can't get hold of them and we can't move things forward because we're waiting for the next milestone or the next gate. Um, for Agile to work, we need full access so that when something needs to happen, so a decision needs to be made, we can do that um, as instantly as possible in an Agile way as possible. So firstly, transparency, second access. And the third thing is a bias towards action. So we want to think big, start small, but act now. So we're not going to think about and, and pontificate on things, and we're not going to create scenarios and imaginations. What we want to do is we want to identify a hypothesis and immediately test it and immediately see if what we are thinking about would actually work. And this, this approach will then allow your teams, your, your, the rest of your organization, to adopt the same style of doing things that, that, that we do, that we apply in our daily lives, in our home lives, and in our work lives that we can actually help um, help pass on to the organization. Um, the beauty of this approach, um, I think, is that you're only ever tied in to the next iteration. So we're going to agree that we want to do one iteration. And if you feel that value has been delivered, going back to the three points, if you agree that value has been delivered, you may be willing to invest in another iteration or another sprint. At the end of that second sprint, if you feel you have enough value, but you want more value, then we move on to a third sprint. But at some point, you're going to say, do you know what? You've handed on all your knowledge. You've handed over all your skills. You've, you've handed over your ways of doing things. We don't need you anymore. And that's the time that we're looking for because we want to go and do this somewhere else. And we want to go and do this again and see you thriving without us being there the whole time. Obviously, if you need to come back and, you know, for a little tweak or a little conversation, then fantastic. But the idea is that you become independent of us as soon as absolutely possible. Um, so those are the those are the three preconditions there that we would have um, to working with you. That's fantastic. Now our call to action for everyone that is crazy enough to, to watch these videos. Guys, if you want to start having a pilot or uh, even talking, just talking about how you will do that with us, please get in touch with us, with me or Alistair, please. And we will uh, find a spot and we will wor work with you on this. We will talk about how can we do things together. But even if you want to just share ideas, please get in touch. Absolutely. And, and again, from the very first conversation, um, hopefully we will, you will see that we are already will start to be adding value because the, 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 we want to know, we are far more interested in knowing what it is that you're trying to solve, what problems you have, what, what, what sticky patches you want to you know, resolve rather than get into long discussions about history and everything else. Let's get to the bottleneck. Let's find the thing that right now, if that could be solved, would have the most impact and would deliver the most value to an organization. If you're interested in doing that, as Michelle said, get in touch with one of us. Um, our details will be below in the videos um, and in the links so you can find us on LinkedIn and so forth. Um, and um, And we look forward to talking to you. So we we'll hope to talk to you very soon. Bye, guys.